Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today I'll be doing something a little bit different. I feel like I do say, well, I say that for every single build I do really, but today it is a bit different because I haven't really done anything like this before. Today I'm going to be doing a spa build and I'm going to be putting this into Granite Falls. I just thought because of the style of this and because Granite Falls is such a nice place, to, you know, and you'd be going on vacation to relax, I thought it'd be a perfect idea to do a spa in Granite Falls. What I'm going to do today. So this is kind of a very modern sort of uh, spa which I mean all of like the spa day items are modern so I kind of went with that and I tried to make kind of like a different roof design I'm sure I've seen this in a build somebody's build a little while ago I can't really remember who it was but um it's just something a little bit different where I use those half gable roofs um, and they kind of go like into the middle and then it goes off in the other direction. If, you'll see what I mean in a minute once I finish the roof. Um, and I really wanted to have a pool going all the way to the outside and going inside as well. It's a little bit confusing to describe but you'll see what I'll be doing here in a minute. Um, so uh, what I was going to say, well, I wanted the pool to go all the way around but you had to go somewhere to get into the place so the, it doesn't go all the way around. I mean, I could have done maybe something like where um, I have the stairs going up to the second floor floor and like the main bit being on the second floor in the pool downstairs but I didn't really think to do that so unfortunately it doesn't go all the way around but you know it is still a nice pool I think so as you see I'm making these like gaps going through there and that's where the pool's going to be and you can actually go inside there as well to go back into this, uh, the spa bit and get out the pool. Um, and you'll see all of that later. Um, this build took me probably two and a half hours or so, which I mean is a little bit of a while for something of this size. I mean, it was kind of detailed. That's probably why it took that long. Um, and yes, yeah, so there will be screenshots at the end of this video so you can go ahead and see the finished product because like I said, it was a bit, a bit of a long build. So I didn't want this video to be too long and bore you and stuff. Um, so I did cut out quite a bit of it. And um, yeah, Yep. so this is on the gallery as well. I don't know if I just mentioned this or not, but you can head over to my, well, my origin ID is real Thomas TV one and you can go ahead and download this um, on the gallery. There's no CC or anything, so you should easily find this. Um, I always say go over to the origin ID and I mean, it's not, I keep saying that and I like forget to correct myself. I mean, you can go over to the gallery. My origin ID is real Thomas TV one Anyway, moving on. So here I'm doing a build and well the roof I put white on because I felt like I always do the simple black roof with the white trim and I wanted to switch it up a little bit so I kind of did a white roof and black trim. I'm actually starting to use black trims a lot more Um, I don't know why it just seems like a nice clean colour like white is as well Um, but I did change that roof colour back to black. I just couldn't, I couldn't, I can't let go of the black uh, roof colour so it's just so nice and clean and stuff and it just once I finished like doing all the outside and stuff that just looked like the best colour. White seemed to like stand out too much so I didn't do that and um, so this is divided off into a little areas but kind of, this uh, this room I'm doing right now is kind of like the reception room there's a bar in there as well and like a little seating area and then uh, the room next to that on the right is going to be kind of like a um, where you have those massage chairs and where you can get hand massages and stuff like that. And then the room directly behind that water fountain is kind of like the bathroom area um, and then the room after that is kind of like a yoga room and there's actually some yoga spots outside next to one of the trees at the front which I'll show you in a minute um, and what was the other thing as well oh and then there's the pool area which you'll see and I kind of made that open with kind of like a gym area next to that there's also a hot tub and some like um, seats around there as well so um, it is a really nice build I think um, there were a couple of things that, well I glitched out well, well I didn't glitch out the game glitched out once when I was placing a picture I think it was in the bathroom um, and you, well you'll see this if you download in the gallery because I was going I uploaded it to the gallery then afterwards I came back to take the screenshots for the video and I looked back in the reception room and for some reason there was this random picture on one of the windows I was like well how did that get there but it was already on the gallery and people started to download it so I didn't want to have to remove it again so um, unfortunately there is just this one random picture on the door there but You'll not see that now. I don't think you'll see it in the video, actually. It's just in the screen. And, well, if you download it on the gallery. Anyway, moving on. I've been talking too long about that. Uh, we're kind of like halfway through the build now and I haven't even really talked about it. Um, so, well, that's actually another thing I want you to let me know. Do you want me to talk about the build, like, focus completely on the build? Or do you want me to talk about other things that's just happening, like, randomly as well? Because I feel like sometimes it can get a little bit repetitive just talking about the build for the full video, if you know what I mean. Especially if they're long. Yep, oh, can't speak. If it's a long one. So, you know, I don't know if I'll be doing that or not. Anyway, um, so... Uh, I struggled a little bit with lights in this build. Um, 
I kind of liked it being a little bit darker because that's kind of more relaxing, I suppose. Um, but it was a little bit of a struggle trying to get lights in here. Um, I did use those like bar lights, as you can see, those like just strip lights that go along the wall. But I'm not too sure what to think of those. So let me know what you thought about this build. If there's anything you'd like me to improve on next time because I'm really getting into building in The Sims. Like recently, I've done so many builds. I need builds, builds, wait, what? <laughs> builds, I need controlling because I just can't stop building. I'm like doing, sometimes on the weekends, I'm doing like two or three builds per day. And like each one takes like two hours and I've still got all my schoolwork to do and stuff. So I've got to try and control myself a bit. But you know, um, I am really, really enjoying doing speed builds and stuff. But if I'm just doing start homes, which I mean, I really like to do, um, it kind of gets a little bit repetitive sometimes. So I need some more ideas of what I could do in terms of speed builds. But as you've seen on my channel recently, I have been doing some slightly different things other than uh, start at home. So I'm kind of, you know, going out, my, like just expanding a little bit on what I build. Also, I want you to let me know if you think I talk too fast during my voiceovers because I feel like I do that sometimes. But I feel like kind of pressured when it's like a shorter video because I feel like I've got things to say, but not enough time to do it in. But I don't want the video to be too long either. So, you know, it is a little bit of a dilemma there. But um, I don't know, my, like my mum was like listening to me doing my voiceover like the other day and she was like, why are you talking that fast? And I was like, well, I don't know. I, I, it just, I sound more excited and more enthusiastic when I talk faster. When I used, well, actually, when I started doing like voiceovers and stuff, um, well, it, it didn't really sound that good because one, I just didn't sound enthusiastic at all. I sounded like half dead and I talk kind of slow as well. But I feel like now I'm more energetic in my voiceovers a little bit. Sometimes, once it, if it's a long voiceover and then kind of gets more like after the halfway mark, then I start to get a bit tired because I'm talking for too long. <laughs> um, anyway, let's move on. So, oh, you might have just seen there. I did have one of those sauna things out, but this was kind of like a small lot. I mean, I could have expanded it, but then I would have to change like everything to expand it. You know what I mean? So I didn't, I didn't manage to fit it so on, but you know you could maybe, I don't know, I don't know what you could do actually, maybe this pool how it comes inside, you could maybe expand that back outside a little bit and maybe it would fit something in, I don't know, uh, I'll just have to play around with it a little bit. Um, I thought the gym was a little bit odd, like it's kind of a very small gym but it kind of seems a bit packed in that area, so I did take, well, take one of those, no, did I take a, a treadmill? No, I think I took the boxing glove, not glove, what's it called? The boxing thing? <laughs> I don't know what to call it, I, I think I took that out because it seemed to be too many things that one area because it's supposed to be like a, a relaxing area i mean like a seating area there next to the pool and if you're sitting there trying to relax and somebody's punching like a bag behind you then you know it's not going to be very relaxing is it um so what else am i doing here well somebody was asking me well somebody was talking on to i think it was um ian siegel he was talking on twitter about um having like pool lounges and um like uh these sun lounges back in the game and stuff and i thought it was a really nice idea and i was just telling them like that would i really love that because i'm seeming to like i really want to put um like sun lounges next to pools but they don't have any in the game so i'm having to make these makeshift ones which are using these chairs from perfect patio i think and the little coffee table i think it is that you get with it as well maybe it's just a little seat without a backing um i use put those two items together to make um kind of like a sun lounger you may have seen that in my, i think it was my suburban family home and um, I used that there I've also got a couple of builds which I've recorded but I don't know if that's up yet so I'm not going to ruin what those are um but yeah somebody's asked me on Twitter how I did that and it's basically just putting those two items together to make kind of like a sun lounge I don't think it'll be functional but you know it is nicer decoration so I do put some other chairs there so you sims can sit outside uh, since that isn't really functional so I felt like in this build, a little bit to decorate the place, I mean, apart from the basic functions of like a spa, putting those items in, yes, but then other than that, it was hard to fill up the space, especially in this room, there was a lot of empty space in the middle and I didn't really know what to put in there, I kind of like the minimal, mil uh, can't speak, I'm not going to even try to pronounce that name again, um, I, I tried to make it more simple, if you know what I mean, so, um, well, that, I totally feel like saying that, um, so yeah, I kind of, I don't know what I feel about that, it was a little bit blank in the middle, and with spa day, there wasn't that many rugs that came with it, apart from the light ones so I did put a couple of those in room dividers as well also filled up the space Um, so the pool I really really like it's I've never really done something like this before but it is such a nice idea I think Um, I like how it comes into the building as well and you can go out the outside of it and like go around outside and see all the nice scenery and stuff from Granite Falls and it goes in different directions as well as you can see past the hot tub and also out there as well and um, it's also enclosed a little bit outside as well. And I've got put some uh, water fountains in there, which you'll see later on. Um, I think there might have been one or two plants. This is the other thing I forgot to mention after I put it on the gallery. So that maybe one or two plants got stuck like in the in the in the mirrors, really in the windows. Um, so it was a little bit hard to well, there was just like plants sticking through the um the windows, which didn't really look too good. And I've got an eyelash in my eye, and it's actually killing. <laughs> I don't want to have to stop the voiceover though, because we're kind of at the end, and my eyes like watering like crazy now. Hang on, I'm gonna try and get this eye. 
eyelash out of my eye and I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I couldn't get the eyelash out of my eye and I got, it's still hurting a little bit. I don't know if I've just scratched my eye, but I don't know how I would have done that because I didn't have my hands next to my eye. Anyway, move, well, not moving on just yet. Actually, a funny story is, uh, that, well, it's not funny, but it's kind of traumatic. <laughs> the other day, um, I went out for a walk because, I mean, all I do is really go to college, come home, do my homework and play The Sims. That's kind of all I do, really. So I went out for a walk for a little change and, like, the one time I go out for a walk and then I got run over by a car, like, about four times. <laughs> And um, there's just like cars, like across the road, it'd be clear to go. Then, oh, all of a sudden there's a car appearing. And then a fly flew in my eye. Like, well, that kind of rhymes, that rhymes actually. Anyway, so a, <laughs> a fly flew in my eye. Like the one time I got for a walk, it was kind of traumatic. My eye was rotten like crazy. It was a cool day. My nose was running. It was horrible. And like I got back, well, I was actually like, walking to the car. Um, and like I looked in the like the little w the little mirror thing like you know the sun visor thing and I pulled it down and I looked in my eye and there was this like black thing like on my eye it was like a fly it was dead but it was oh my god it was so horrible and then I was go further back in my eye and I was like panicking because like the flies gonna get lost in the back of my eye <laughs> and it was oh god it was horrible but I got I got it out and um, that's never happened before like uh, all that happened in one day the one time I go out for a walk like which I never do <laughs> and all of that happens anyway moving on let's talk back about the build so I'm doing this uh, what am I doing now I kind of wasn't even pinching to the screen there I'm just Oh, this is the room I'm doing now. This is where the um, yoga mat is. It is a very, very small room, so I think it only fit about three mats in there. But um, since it is a small room, I did actually, that wall where it's got brick on, I actually put mirrors up there. It's the ones that came with spa day. It's one of those um, ones that had the uh, illuminating back. Um, I thought that looked really, really nice, so I put that in there just to you know, expand the space a little bit. Um, and yeah, I know, well, when I do the landscaping, you'll see this. I think I start doing this about now, actually, yeah. So I'm putting the pavement in there. And I've been really doing this a lot, where on the pavement set, I do that um, kind of like half, well, quarter tiles. Um, all you have to do is get a little and click, well, not click, you press Control F, probably Command F on a Mac, I would, I would think. Um, and it makes those um, tiles like that just quarter size, so you can make Make those little things run off the side so it's not all just like full size kind of had adds oh god speak, can't speak adds a little bit of more decoration um as you can see there, I do have those water fountains outside. Just thought it was a nice little decoration because I kind of wanted the um, swimming pool to be covered in little bits of areas where you go back into the place through the pool. So I did put those in there just as a little decoration. So as you can see here, I'm doing the uh, decorating, well, decorating landscaping now. And um, just going through putting in those uh, plants and stuff. As you can see there, I put a couple of yoga mats and those meditation things outside. I just thought those look really, really nice and added quite, a, you know, just a nice little decoration there. I thought it'd be nice since it is Granite Falls is a lovely place to put some of those outside side too you know you can do some um exercise outside as well um and yeah and also there's a really nice view after that like the lake side is just next to that so it's really really nice there i never really go to granite falls a lot i have been doing a couple of builds in granite falls actually um well actually the lot right next to this one in this game save i do another build um i don't think that's up yet though but once you see that build you'll see this um spa day unless that goes up first i don't know my schedule is a total mess at the minute um, I kind of get, like, I'll do a speed build, upload it, just put on, so upload it when I'm ready to, on a day that I don't have a video planned or whatever. So I have that done, and then I'll do another speed build, be like, after that, and do the same thing. But then I'm really more excited about one type of build, the newer one, and then I'll upload that first. And then the older ones get, like, pushed back and back and back. So today is currently the 5th of February. I don't know when you're seeing this. It's probably going to be sometime into February. Or um, and it's just a total mess. I have videos still from, like, early January that I still have to publish. So, and then I'm talking about things, which which kind of won't make sense because it's like already happened or you know what I mean that sort of thing so oh god total mess I'm stressing so um, I'm just going in putting some more lights in and just doing little decorations now I think I've done most of the outdoor lights um I didn't want to go like plant crazy like I mean like spring sims but um I did I uh, do a little bit some little bit some stuff there <laughs> that didn't even make sense Um, I did put a little bit of plants inside the um pool area as well just so because kind of moving from the outside in but it's kind of all open anyway so I kind of want that to come inside a little bit and the plants is kind of like a nice thing for like the theme of the spa if you know what I mean I don't even know how to explain it but hopefully you know what I mean and um, also I forgot that one of the lot of things I needed was a shower totally forgot to put that in there so I did add a little like shower room with a locker in there as well so that is it for this build I hope you enjoyed also put a couple of lot treats in there I think was that one to do with the gym like What's it, greasy or something? I don't even know. You'll be able to see that on the gallery. So I hope you enjoyed this build. I'm going to leave you with the screenshots here. If you did, please make sure you leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Also leave some suggestions down below in the comment section for future builds. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.